Hey Scorpio, Shara here. So today we are going to do um, a few things. Um, we are going to be doing your general spread to see what you need to know, um, any messages from spirit. Uh, then we're going to do your singles read and then we're going to do if you are dealing with someone and after that, we are going to check out your financial, career, money situation. So make sure that you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification um, so that you can know when I post. I hope everybody is doing good, winning at life, and kicking ass. And, of course, drinking your water. Okay? It is good for your skin, your soul, your body. Okay? Make sure you're staying hydrated. You know what I mean? All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. What does spirit want Scorpio to know? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Crosswatcher, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this could be for you and roles can be reversed. All right. What does Scorpio need to know? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay, so it says you must forgive. If you want to be free, do it for yourself, okay? So you're going to have to forgive somebody or forgive a situation because if you're holding on to something, it's like... um I forget which philosopher said it, but it's like holding on to hot stones and getting ready to throw it at someone. Or it's like uh, drinking poison and hoping the other person offs themselves or passes away. Okay. Um, so when you're holding on to that negative energy, you're the one that feels it. They don't feel it. Okay. Okay. You are holding that inside. So you're going to have to release that. Um, stop pushing against what is. Oh, stop pushing against what is. Okay. If there's some things that you can't change. Keep it pushing. Okay. Do your own thing. You can't change other people's free will. Align with it and move on. Okay. So you need to forgive a situation. You know, even if this is a really nasty person, even if this person has been horrible to you, um, sometimes that's just how it works. You know, sometimes spirit puts those people in our paths to see how we're going to respond. That is a catalyst for our growth. Okay. You feeling me on that? And what does this say? No one said this whole life was a race. It's okay to slow down. Okay, so maybe you need to take some time to reflect, meditate, um, heal from things that have happened in the past, okay, or even people that you're dealing with, whether that is a lover, whether that is uh, a family member, a parent, a friend, um, some people just weren't meant to be in our life, and especially if you are growing and you're moving up. These people are going to fall off, okay? It's like when they send the space shuttle into outer space, um, you know, the things have to fall off at a certain altitude because you're going at a higher level. These people, places, and things cannot stay with us, okay? All right. Give me a message for Scorpio spirit. What message do you have for Scorpio? I feel like everything is happening in divine timing. The sun, joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, play. Okay, you are meant to enjoy life, not sit in bitterness, not sit in the middle of chaos. Okay. Enjoy your life. Don't think, don't take things too seriously. Um, for some of you, you may need to take a time out or take a couple of days off if you can, uh, or whatever little bit, like carve out some time in your day 
to take out for yourself to enjoy, okay? Because maybe you're overworking, you're overthinking, you're overstressed, there's a lot going on, and you don't have enough time for you. So that is going to make your spirit feel dimmed or make your light dimmed. And that's not what spirit is wanting you to do because we've got the sun, okay? The sun is not dimmed, okay? Show your light, okay? For some of you, you may be coming more enlightened, okay? Um, and it says, come to me, attracting like a rose, receive abundance desires. So you've got um, things manifesting for you. But it's like you have to be in that frame of mind. When you're in that frame of mind, those things come to you. Those things um, come to you easily, actually, when you are in the right state of mind. When you know that you are destined for greatness. When you know that you are destined for better than the situation that you're in. So keep that in mind. Enjoy your life. In order to get into that flow state, you have to be at ease with your mind and trust the process. Okay. Give me a message for Spirit. Uh, spirit, give me a message for Scorpio. Scorpio placements. What message do you have for Scorpio? Okay, so creative writing. Archangel Gabriel says make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book so if you're looking into doing any type of writing anything that is creative um maybe you're writing music maybe you are writing a book maybe you need to um write your thoughts in a journal so that you can see how far you've come Right, you know, even just five minutes a day, okay. But for those of you out there who are venturing into a creative avenue, spirit is saying, Go for that, okay. Take time to put your thoughts down, right? Um, especially in the morning when you wake up, that is the best time to write down your ideas, your thoughts, okay, because. There's something about when you wake up, when you are still between sleep and wake state, uh, your brain waves are different. So it's more or less like those creative flows start coming through. Okay. Indigo and crystal children. Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Okay. This... Uh, Scorpio, you may um, be urged to work. I, I don't necessarily think that it's just children. You could be teaching people how to do certain things, okay? Um, it's like a level up in your spirituality. So it's like you need to learn or teach what it is that you're learning, write it down. Okay. Maybe you're going to be helping people through, um, music, poetry, dance, artistry, uh, writing a book, um, writing down what it is that you learn, getting something published, um, making a tarot deck. So you need to tap into that is what spirit is saying, because you're going to be able to help a lot of people through your journey and your experiences. So get ready to receive like you're, you're on the right path, but you do need to forgive something and let something go and, uh, enjoy the process. Okay. And it's okay to slow down. It is okay to slow down. You don't have to do everything for everybody. You don't have to, um, Feel like you're going to make somebody mad if you don't do something. No. Do you, boo. Do you. Okay. That's how we grow. All right. That was nice. You know what? And I want to get um, 
I want to get a message for you guys out of the book of answers. Okay, I love this. Okay, what does Scorpio need to know or what advice do you have for Scorpio? You'll have the enthusiasm that you need. Okay, so I feel like that's going to happen when you start taking a break and you're able to slow down and enjoy, like stop living in this fast pace. Slow down, be in the present moment and... That way you are going to find that inner peace to where you can create, okay? You are a creator, okay? So co-create with the divine. Winning, I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on into your love portion for singles. If that resonated, y'all hit that like and subscribe. Leave me a little heart down below. Make sure you hit that bell notification so that you can know when I post. All right, what's coming in for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Crosswatcher roles can be reversed. All right, what is coming in for singles in love? Okay, Scorpio, I feel like you've got your boundaries up, okay? Dreams, like maybe you want love, but your boundaries are up a little bit, um, a little bit high. So you need to challenge those boundaries. That goes along with your general reading of being free as well. Let down the boundaries just a little bit so that you can allow love to come in. Not everybody is bad. Yes, we've had a lot of shitty people who have been horrible, okay? Don't let that deter you from um, going toward love. And if we look at it in a financial sense, how many shitty jobs have you had? How many financial problems have you had? But you still keep going every single day chasing that dream, right? So we have to look at it in in that way, uh, in the terms of love. So you, you're going to have to lower your boundaries a little bit. Um, hide away. Okay. So maybe you're hermiting a little bit. Um, and baggage. <laughs> Okay, you got you got to release the baggage. Emotional baggage can weigh down relationships. Unpack it. So I feel like you're struggling here, single Scorpios, because um, there's a lot of boundaries in the way. Um, and maybe you are hiding from love right now. Maybe that's not... Maybe you don't trust people or you've had so many bad situations that you're like, is love even worth it anymore? But I'm here to tell you, you got to drop the boundaries and keep the hope alive. Okay. Tell me more about this situation. I feel like you've got some detours in the way or some uh, blockages. So, yeah. It's like things are at a halt. Okay. Okay. So I feel, <laughs> Scorpio, I feel like you have cut people out and you're just done with it. You're overwhelmed with it. You could be working too much or you're thinking too much. You've got a lot going on and I feel like you're just like, nope, nope, nope. Um, but I feel like there's somebody here that wants to talk to you or maybe you don't trust this person. Hold on. Let me clarify this. Okay. So I don't know if this person is shy that wants to come towards you. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, oh, 
okay, for some of you, that you could be very private about your love life or you don't want people to know, like you're not telling everybody everything. Um, you got somebody coming in, could be a, I think I said it, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But um, this person, they may be kind of, um, I feel like this person is kind of sexy in a, in like their own way. Like there's something about them that's very sexy. And I see communication coming in, but you still might have like your boundaries up a little bit. Okay. Um, what is this hideaway? What is this hideaway about? King of Swords. Okay, I feel like you're selective in who you talk to. Um, and make time to be with your person. Create your own special hideaway. I feel like there are secrets here that you're not telling everybody. or And you're selective on who you are talking to. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again in the energies. I feel like this person is very professional at what they do in their work or they're very good at what they do. Um, they're like sexy in their own way. I don't want to say it. it is sexy. It is kind of sexy in their own way. I feel like it's sexy for you, Scorpio. Like this person is sexy for you. Okay. Okay, so tell me more about this person that's coming towards Scorpio. Okay, so they are planning. Okay, I feel like this is, um, they're planning to come towards you. I do feel like communication is going to come in if it hasn't already. This is like beginning stages of like talking, it's kind of mundane, but you're having feelings toward each other that you are not fully expressing yet. Okay, how's Scorpio coming toward this person? Oh, okay, so you are conflicted as well about how to come toward this. This is like, I don't know, maybe feeling like the bubble guts, like how is this going to work out? Um, how, how do I get this person to, um, you know, go on the next level? Okay. You are wanting to express your truth here. And this person, I feel like they are, maybe this person has their boundaries up. Okay. But I think things are like, I don't know, it's like a private setting. You don't want everybody to know just yet. Or you, maybe you haven't even told this person. But it's like this person gives you the butterflies in your stomach. Okay. But you got to let go of any emotional baggage. All right. What is your advice to Scorpio about this person? Okay. Why are you just sitting there thinking about it? You're just sitting there thinking about it. You're, you're not getting up doing it. You're hanging on to this situation, but you're not. Or there's something that you don't want to reveal to this person. You know, rest and think about. Make a plan of how you're going to come toward this person. Um, because it's like, you're not taking action. You're not taking like full on direct action. Like, boo, I like you. Do you like me too? It's as simple as that. And if you get rejected, oh well. But I don't think that this person is going to reject you. I think that they are, um, coming towards you like, they they want to get to know you better. They want to take it at a slow pace. Okay. So that's what I've got for you for single Scorpios. All right. Let's see what we got coming in for Scorpios who are dealing with someone. This is either loosely or 
Um, if this is friends with benefits, if you are married, if you're committed, okay, if you are dealing with someone actively, okay, tell me about what's going on with Scorpios who are dealing with someone. And make sure that y'all hit that like and subscribe if you're not. I would appreciate that a lot. And maybe just drop a little heart down below. It really helps my channel. It helps me to grow. So I always appreciate that. Okay. Tell me about the Scorpios who are dealing with someone. Okay. So we got abundance and true love. Oh, and falling fast. Okay. So this is, this love is about to grow. It says a deep and enduring connection going beyond superficial attraction. Okay. Open your heart to receive abundant love that the universe has to offer. So, and then we've got falling fast. Love happens quickly, but don't lose yourself in the process. Um, so if you are dealing with someone, um, if you're already committed to this person, it's like, it's going, the, the love is going to be renewed or it's going to go, uh, at a deeper level. Like there's going to be more romance. There's going to be more, um, like cuddles and kisses and things like that. More sweetness. Um, if you are loosely dealing with someone, uh, make sure that you're not falling too fast, okay? You do want to hold back a little bit, okay? But allow it to come in. You don't have to tell everybody um, everything in the first week. So kind of like, you know, refrain from talking about traumatic experiences in the first week because it, you don't want to trauma bond, with someone you want to be someone's healing and you want them to be your healing so all right who is this person tell me about the person that scorpio is dealing with but overall it looks really good start you know i don't want to mess it up by reading more but we're going to go ahead and get into it all right tell me about the person that scorpio is dealing with tell me about this Okay, so, oh, <clears throat> I feel like their sacrifice is going to be made. It makes this person scared. It's like this person is really scared. Um, I feel like they've went through some shit and they are healing from it. Okay, because we got strength and hangman reverse. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. Um Yeah, this is something that could be long-term. It's something that you could really invest in. Lots of cuddles, love, giving. I feel like um, this is somebody that can help you to heal or you to help them heal. Uh, but there's some sacrifices that are going to be made. Lots of patience with this person. Because um, for whatever reason, they're afraid of moving forward. They, they don't trust easy. This person does not trust easy, okay? Um, but they are falling fast, okay? It's like they have these feelings for you that they can't describe. And I think it scares the shit out of this person. How is Scorpio coming toward this person? Scorpio. Okay, so I feel like you're kind of waiting around watching to see what this person does because you're not for sure. Like things haven't happened uh, fully yet. What is this Page of Swords reversed? Okay, the, somebody could be drinking a lot or you could be like trying to get the courage to come like talk to this person like let me get a good swig before I can get up the nerve to um to message this person or um tell them what I really feel 
I feel like, okay, I feel like there is some regrets here or you wish that you would have done something um, differently or you wish that you would have done something on purpose instead of going around the situation. For some of you, you just don't know what they want because they're kind of, they're just hanging there. I feel like they do want to be free from this uh, from this like hurt or trauma they want to be able to trust but it's very difficult I feel like this person sees things as like very matter of fact they could this person could be a dancer or they could do yoga or they could um, be some kind of uh, like I don't know. I feel like this person is very spiritual. But they could be like doing their shadow work or they could be um, healing from something. But whatever. Um, okay, so what are this person's intentions with Scorpio? What is this person's intentions with Scorpio? They want to tell you the truth too. Okay, they want to be able to make a decision. On their part, there are no cups. We have five of cups over here. Swords. Okay, we got swords. I feel like you guys aren't exactly on the same page of thinking or being direct. You need to be direct with each other. What what do you want with each other? What are your requirements in love? What is it that you want with this person? You have to go toward them and be like, hey, you know, I really feel da 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 da. And I was wondering if we could, you know, have date night or go out on a date or um, can I rub your feet? What can I do for you? Okay. Because when you give, you also receive, especially when you expect to receive okay so get that confidence up Scorpio get that confidence up we know y'all got confident but sometimes y'all need to express it a little more and be a little more open with your feelings okay um, what action will they take towards Scorpio okay they're conflicted they're waiting on you okay we got the moon here could be dealing with another Scorpio but they're also conflicted about, I mean, y'all could be, okay, if you're loosely dealing with somebody, they're wanting to know, do you want to take this further? You know, do you want, what, like, what do you want? Okay, because I feel like they're saying, if you will, I will too, okay? Okay. <laughs> If you will, I will. Um, but we got abundance and true love here. So I feel like if you can get past whatever issues that you guys got going on, um, this can definitely be successful. Okay. For those of you who are married or in a uh, deeply committed relationship, I feel like you're going to work your problems out, but you have to speak to each other and don't talk over each other. Okay. Nobody likes that. Um, don't try to just get your point across. Um, and, and same for them, but you can't control them. You can control the narrative here. You can be like, Hey, let's talk about this and not yell or let's, discuss this uh in a calm manner okay and I think if you do that um because that looks like a blockage here um that things changed behavior as well okay changed behavior as well needs to be done if somebody is doing wrong okay so let's get some overall advice for this situation what is your advice for Scorpio in this situation. 
don't be having regrets, okay? Don't be having regrets. Go forward and do what it is that you are feeling. What are you, like, whatever it is that you got in your head that you want to do, do it, okay? Do it. Unless it's cheating. Don't do that. That's disgusting. <laughs> but, yeah, you want to, um, you be, be honest with your person. Be loving. Okay, allow them to love you as well. What's your advice to Scorpio regarding this situation? Oh, be honest. Be honest. Because there's some truth here that is not being told. Okay, be honest. Okay, and if you're being honest, get the honest truth from them as well. That's what I got for you, Scorpio. Let's move on to your money and financial situation. All right. What did I do with that deck? Where is my kipper at? Y'all, I've got like 62 decks here. I'm trying to. Okay, there we go. All right. What is the money financial career situation with Scorpio? What is the money financial career situation with Scorpio? What is the money financial? Oh, we. Okay, so we got main female and child here. Okay, so for some of you, you could actually be having a child or somebody could be pregnant. Um, but others of you... Um, because listen, we know kids are a little bit expensive. So, um, you could be partnering up with, because we got 18 and two, which equals a 20, which reduces it to a two. So you actually could be partnering up with somebody starting a new project. Um, I feel like you're leaving a legacy behind, okay? Or you're preparing to um, create a legacy. If you're starting something new in career, it is saying go for it because it's going to be abundant. Um, but make sure that all of the details, make sure that you do all of your homework on this thing. For some of you, if you are looking for work, um... There is a female that could help you find what it is that you're looking for. There's somebody who is going to be um, a catalyst to, or, or um, somebody's going to help you to find work if you're looking for a job, okay? For some of you, you could be transitioning. For some of you, you could be transitioning um, jobs, or rethinking your career. Okay, so you got high expectations of yourself. Yes, you need a change. Okay, so it's like, you know that you deserve better. So you're looking for better. All right, tell me what's going on in finances, career, um, and money with Scorpio. You know that there's some kind of changes uh, that need to be made. And you know what, listen. Whatever you're getting ready to step into is going to um, align with your path. Um, you're about to be very comfortable, okay? You're about to be very comfortable um, if you're starting something new, okay? Whether that's working for someone or working for yourself. And I don't know what my hair is doing, but we're going to flip that back, okay? What is that? What is that? Okay, sometimes, listen, we can't be perfect all the time. All right, tell me what's going on in Scorpio's finances and career. Scorpio, finances and career. Honey, I feel like you are overwhelmed and you are looking, you're about to give something up. 
I feel like you've had enough, okay? Damn, why can't I not hold these cards? Okay. I feel like there was something that you maybe thought that you wanted and now you maybe don't. And you're looking for something else. You could be partnering up, but it's like you're moving on to the next stage. Um, there could be like a lot of drama at your work and you're just tired of it. You're fed up. And you just it, there's something here that's causing a lot of anxiety. It's like oil and water not mixing. Um, that is just shit. Okay. Um, you could have done this multiple times or had like uh, multiple situations or multiple jobs that were just not in alignment with what you want or what makes you feel good. It's like discontent you're not happy with what it is um, that you're going through. Uh, for some of you, you are like really overworked and done. Like you're, you're, you're done with a current situation and you're moving on to the new with that child here and expectation. So both of these cards resemble the same thing. It's about expectation, looking forward to the future. Okay. Looking for that comfort. So, I feel like if you move into um, a new business venture, okay, whether that's working for someone or um, starting a new job, there's somebody that is going to help you with this, okay? I feel like you're about to partner up with somebody. Um, if not, it could be like um, you're going to get to the point where you're going to have to hire employees if you're self-employed. But this could be even like a management position if you're doing a nine to five. But overall, um, if you're fed up, things are about to look really good. Okay, so keep your eyes open and make sure that you do your research. Okay. So, all right, that is what I've got for you. That looked really, really good. Um the choice is yours. And I love that. Change. We've got change here. All right. Anyway. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you would like to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I'm going to link that down below. If you would like a personal reading, you can email me at shareastarot at gmail.com. And um, I will see you in the next one, guys. I love you so much. Bye.